It is Friday, August 11th, 2023, and this is the SOS show with James Lott Jr., the Super Organizer show. James Lott Jr., I am the Super Organizer, James Lott Jr. This is a mini episode because uh, I have, of course, this car is going by, uh, here at home organizing stuff, and I was asked about belt organization, and I decided I'm going to share it with you guys, my listeners, and my watchers first. Um, I was asked by a magazine, so maybe you might be seeing this in a magazine near you. I don't know all the, all the details yet. But I thought I'd share it with you guys, too, because it's something that I just, for me, these are three three little tips that I handle myself when it comes to belts. Um, and so, but first, I'll just my thanks and gratitude. And it's August. It's a very rough month for me, for emotionally. And I want to give a thanks and gratitude to the lives that are not here anymore, that the anniversaries and important dates are happening this month. Number one is my late, uh, take two, my late stepfather Moses who passed away in January his birthday is August 23rd so it was gonna be a first birthday without him so I want to give thanks gratitude to him um I want to give thanks gratitude to my brother Max my dog Scrabble and my grand Susie all who passed away in August uh this month I love you all three of you I'm sure you guys are all together having a good time with Moses and I miss all of you immensely but you guys all had an impact on my life that lasts to today birthday Max like I said, okay, so the three tips to belt organization. This is my edition. One, keep your belts near your pants, your shorts. Otherwise, they require a belt. I know it sounds so like, okay. But literally, I'm all about like items in same spaces. And it saves so much time. It may not seem like it, but it saves time in looking and searching. If you're like, if you get pants out, the belts are right there. Long sleeve shirts, ties are right there. Like I like it nearby. I we always make jokes that organizers are the laziest people, right? That's I mean that's a whole joke of course about that. But it just means that we like to save steps in doing things and looking for things. It saves time. And it's all in the same area. So if you can do that, that's what I mean. Two belt and tie organizers are great and can't be hung with pants. I've seen some that are, there's all different kinds. You go online, all different kinds. Um, but here's a little tip. If you can't afford one, just get a hanger. And you can put the belts in the hanger. And have the hanger with pants. Or with the shorts you have hung up. Have nearby. And three, I it's in my drawers, I roll belts in small circles and place them in a drawer too. Now, I have them in my accessories drawer. So I have one drawer that's dedicated to, um, I should, well, what is I'll bring it out and show you guys. Um, I have bow ties, ties, belts, and a couple of little accessory things that are accessories. They're all in one drawer. And so rolling the belts can happen. Um, some people put them in the same area as socks and underwear because it's kind of it's also the same thing, too, and ties. They're all necessary necessities, accessories. <laughs> so that's also a way to do it, too. But I think the over thought for James Lott Jr. That's, that's talking to this organizer is keep it near items that you're using it for. You want you want less steps. You just you just want less steps. That's just that is the that is the goal. That is the goal. That is the goal. So I think that's what's number one with that. I'm James Lott Jr. A lot of help.com is the website super organizer show on Facebook, the SOS under show, underscore show on this is Twitter or X. I don't know what's called anymore. Uh, but I am available for hire. So um, I could do things remotely or virtually or in person if you're in the Los Angeles area. So message me for rates and times and all that. I'm this organizer. We'll talk to you next time.